Today, we are going to talk about building the best $800 gaming PC that you can get your hands on. We will cover all the essential components and provide you with some tips and tricks to get the most out of your system. So it doesn't matter if you don't know anything about components because I will explain them and what they are capable of running. Now at the end I will also explain how to make this PC cheaper and more expensive depending on your budget in case you have more than 850 bucks or less. Anyway, if you have a totally different budget like let's say $1,200, you can either watch my other videos about PC builds or go to my website where you can find your perfect PC build for your budget and on top of that you also get the estimated FPS on your favorite title. You will have all the links for these components and the alternatives as well in the video description. That being said, let's start. With the CPU, I picked the AMD Ryzen 5 5600. This is a 6 core 12 thread processor, which is the standard for gaming nowadays, and it's going for 140 bucks. It's not the cheapest that it's been, but nonetheless, for the price, you are getting great value. And I strongly recommend this CPU even for a PC that's around 12 to 1300 bucks, so definitely the best mid range CPU out there. For the motherboard, I picked the MSI B550M Pro BDH Wi Fi. Like the name says, it comes with Wi Fi included. If you don't need Wi Fi, you can save around 20 bucks or so by going with a cheaper alternative. But this one is enough for gaming and it also comes with Wi Fi included for the price of 120 bucks, which is actually pretty good. For the memory kit, I picked the ADATA XPG Gamix D20. This is a 16 gigs of RAM kit, 2x8, meaning that it's dual channel of DDR4 at 3200 megahertz and the price is 40 bucks. 16 gigs of RAM is becoming really really cheap nowadays, so you can consider going with 32 if you feel like it, especially if you're going to do streaming. For the storage, I picked the Team Group MP34. This is a 1TB Gen 3 SSD. It's really fast and it's going for 55 bucks. You definitely don't need a Gen 4 SSD for gaming you are not going to notice a single difference when it comes to the FPS mark. So even if you're thinking of spending a hundred bucks on storage, don't do it because it will be useless. Talking about the GPU, I picked the Radeon RX 6700 XT. Now for around 30 to 40 extra bucks, you can get the RTX 3060 Ti, which is essentially the same GPU when it comes to rasterized performance. However, the 3060 Ti has some advantages like the media encoder and ray tracing. So if you're a content creator, then there's no doubt you should be spending more money for Nvidia. But if you're just a gamer, the 6700 XT is definitely the best price to performance here because you pay less and you get the same performance. For the case, I picked the Salman S2. I picked this case a lot because of the price to performance. It's only 60 bucks and it comes with three pre-installed fans. It has a front mesh panel and it's all black. This whole build is all black, but like I said before, you will have alternatives in the video description and alongside the cheaper and more expensive alternatives, you will also have RGB alternatives for some parts like the case and the RAM in case you prefer RGB for your aesthetics. And last but definitely not least, the power supply. I picked the Thermal Take Smart BM2 power supply. This is a 650 watt, 80 plus bronze, semi modular power supply. Now, this is a C tier rated, definitely no issues at all with this system. However, if you want a better quality power supply or you want a more future proof one, like I said, you will have another alternative. Anyway, this power supply is enough for this system and you will have no issues whatsoever with this one. Now the total price for this system is 850 bucks and it's going to be capable of running basically every single game at 1440p high settings and when it comes to esports titles at 1440p you will be able to run them at above 144 fps on average so let's say you want to play fortnite or valorant or csgo you can buy a 1440p 144 hertz or 165 hertz monitor to have the best experience possible for both esports titles and high demanding video games I do not recommend you going with a 1440p 240Hz monitor, not because this PC is not capable of running, because even with a 240Hz one, this PC will be capable of that, but the problem would be the price. You're spending $850 on a gaming PC, you definitely don't want to spend around four to $500 on a gaming monitor where you can get way better performance on your PC. 
by spending that amount of money. You can also use this PC for ultra high FPS at 1080p in every single game. So if you have a 1080p monitor, even though this gaming PC might be an overkill, you can still use it as it won't bottleneck. However, going with a better GPU than the RX 6700XT will be considered a real overkill for 1080p. So this will be the limit of GPU if you have a 1080p monitor. Now, if you have more money than 850 bucks, the best price to performance upgrade would be the GPU to the RX 6800. That one is a much better GPU and it's also a 4K starter GPU, so you can even play at 4K resolution with that one and you can play at 1440p really high FPS. The total price for that system with this upgrade would be around 950 to 970 bucks, depending on when you're watching this video. Now, if you want to make your PC cheaper, on the other hand, then I do recommend you going with a cheaper motherboard, saving around 20 bucks for that one. And you can also go with a cheaper CPU like the Ryzen 5 5500, which is going to cost you 40 bucks less. So in total, you can save around $70 for almost the same exact performance and spending less amount of money. However, if your games are high CPU demanding like CSGO, I do not recommend you doing this downgrade. On the other hand, if your games are high GPU demanding, then this downgrade would be perfect since you will basically not notice the performance drop and you save up some money. If you found this video helpful, leave a like and subscribe, but most importantly, hit that bell button so you get notified when I upload this type of content. If you have any questions, whether it's for probable PC or PC builds, let me know in the comment section, I will try to reply as fast as possible. Thank you guys for watching, thank you for the support and I will see you on the next one.